spanning the past 60 years as we Carlin McCord and James Harrelson live from Tuscaloosa halftime LSU versus Alabama scores 13-10 Alabama just kicked a field goal 55 yards to go up three before the half James not much from Fournette this half a lot of the passing game Fournette's averaging one yard per carry nine rushes for nine yards do you think that he'll be able to get it better for the second half or do you think we're still not going to see much of Fournette tonight well the issue right now is Alabama has found a solution to stop Leonard Fournette you know we talked about going into this game the line of scrimmage was absolutely crucial here and it, we were very interested to see if Alabama's defensive line could stop Fournette I think the answer to that is yes right now Leonard Fournette nine attempts just nine yards total for rush yards for LSU 37 I mean it, you don't even recognize this team as far as rushing goes Carly I really think for LSU don't completely forget about the run, okay? Let's not forget Leonard Fournette uh, is in the Heisman Trophy race. Even if he doesn't have a good game tonight, he'll still be in that discussion. Just continue to try to establish that run. Don't abandon it completely. With all that said, though, I think LSU is going to really have to open up the passing game. We saw some big passing plays from uh, Brandon Harris to Traven Durrell. I think that if Alabama has success stopping Fournette for the remainder of the game, I think if you're LSU, you have to rely on that vertical passing game. Good news for Tiger fans is they've shown up to this point that they're a balanced offense. So you don't have to solely rely on Leonard Fournette. Again, though, it would be nice if we could get Fournette uh, more involved in the game. You talk about the passing game. Brandon Harris, three for nine, 90 yards, one touchdown, and he has came in clutch when it mattered. Do you think that... Les Miles capitalizes on that going into the second half. It seems like both teams are here offensively, struggling a little bit defensively. Do you think that Brandon Harris becomes the star of this game? Well, I, it, it looks like it looks like they're going to have to rely on him a little bit in the second half. Like I said, Fournette really has been stymied in the first half. I, I, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Brandon As Harris. There was some question going into this game about how he would handle the pressure of starting in an environment like this. The last time he started in an environment like this was at Auburn. We all know how that turned out. So I, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Brandon Harris. He's very, po he's very poised and calm. He's finding receivers, and receivers are coming up and making a big play. It, it's very, like I said, that's probably the biggest takeaway for me on the offensive side of the ball right now for LSU is the fact that their offense right now is clicking in the passing game. You follow us on Twitter for all your game day coverage at 104.5 ESPN at Eagle0981. I'm at Carly McCord. He's at James Harrelson. Live from Tuscaloosa with your halftime report, I'm Carly McCord, James Harrelson for 104.5 ESPN.